What's cracking, peeps? Darren McDuffie here, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned and conscious, yo. I think South Florida is the only place that you can wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock or whatever, and you instantly be- start sweating just because of the humidity. But um wanted to share something with you today that came to mind for me <clears throat> over the weekend. And it's a simple concept that I put into practice and it's helped me a lot to get things in my life. And that practice is only focus on the things that you want. A lot of us want things. We want new cars. We want new houses. We want new relationships. But what are you actually giving your focus to? What are you actually giving your attention to? Is your attention on what you actually want or is your attention on what you do not want? A lot of people focus on what they don't want or the absence of it and tend to think that they're going to get what they do want. So here's an example of that. You're around a group of people, probably work in a corporate environment and you're around a lot of people and I've had this experience before myself where everybody seems to be getting sick. There's something going around. And you say, I don't want to get sick. Universe hears that and the universe only hears sick. And you begin to get sick. And before you know it, you've missed a day of work or whatever it is. The way that you would rephrase that, the way that you would think about it is you put your mind on wellness. And you say, I only want to be well. I attract well-being into my life and you focus on that and you will be well don't focus on the absence of what you want a lot of times again we think we're focusing on what we want but we're actually focusing on the absence of it so for instance you might want better health but all you ever focus on is the diagnosis that the doctor gave you all you ever focus on is your aches and your pains So you're actually focusing on the absence of the health instead of the health and the wellness itself. And this can be transferred into so many different circumstances in our lives where we're actually focusing on the absence of something instead of focusing on what we really want. When you're focusing, what you want to do is you want to start sprinkling a little bit of emotion into what you're focusing on. Because... Emotion and feeling helps us attract the things into our life. But more specifically, emotion and good feelings help us attract more specifically uh, what we want into our lives. Another thing I wanted to just say about another caveat that I did and I tend to see with most of us is that we do this thing we call the T.O. principle. I call it the T.O. principle where we turn around. Before we get that desire, we give up because the desire has taken us a while to manifest or come into our experience. And therefore, we turn around before we actually get the thing. I don't know if you've ever seen where there's a meme going around. And I've seen it several times on Facebook where there's two gentlemen digging for diamonds. And one of the gentlemen gentlemen gives up just before he gets to the diamonds. It's a little picture and they have these pickaxes and they're digging. And just before the gentleman gets to his diamonds, he gives up. And a lot of us do that. We give up before the blessing comes, before the manifestation ever comes. Don't turn around. If you want the abundance, keep focusing on the abundance. If you want the new relationship, keep focusing on the new relationship. You want the new house, Keep focusing on the new house. Keep sprinkling the feelings, the good feelings behind whatever you desire, whatever your focus is. And the universe has to bring it to you. It's just universal law. God has to bring it to you. Sometimes things are about divine timing. Sometimes you might have to go through a couple of different steps before you get to the thing that you want. Sometimes you might have to start dealing with your emotions about how you feel about certain things 
and clean up, clean up the resistance. And then the universe or God will bring the thing to you. So only focus on what you want. That's it. Don't focus on what you don't want. Don't give your attention to what you do not want. Give your attention to the things that you want in your life. And the universe, God has to bring them to you. It is law. Trust, believe, receive. Darren McDuffie, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy in tone and conscious, yo. One love. I'm out.